Yeah. Let's take a look at what Tucker Carlson had to say. He's in Argentina. Administration has handed out 20 and 25 year prison sentences to people who didn't actually do anything in the last week. On January. Oh wait, maybe he's not in Argentina. I mean, he is in Argentina, but I don't know where the speech January is. January sixth. Why? Because they were in some group that was probably at least half federal agents, but whatever. The idea of people being organized, of coming together with a common purpose, is terrifying. The left, I will say to their great credit, are masters of organizing. They are dutiful. I'm sorry, what? Did he say the left, to their credit, are wonderful at mass organizing? Brother, your dad worked for the CIA. You know better than anybody else that the left is dog shit at organizing. They're so bad that the CIA doesn't even need to infiltrate leftist organizations anymore because we fucking splinter on our own. Where is the left organizing? Universally, I don't even know where the fucking left is organizing. Like maybe in India? I, I, I don't know. They show up, they are disciplined, and they are willing to put aside their differences for the sake of achieving a common goal. They don't argue with each other in public. They just all say the same thing. They all vote for the same person because they know their strength in numbers. Conservatives, on the other hand, are very focused on their family, their what? faith, their jobs. Politics comes at least fourth in their higher hierarchy of concern. I'm sorry, what? Bro. I guess when he says leftist, he means like liberals, and I think he's talking about like Black Lives Matter or something. Uh, like, there's no way he means like leftists do this, right? Concerns. And they also have integrity and self respect. So it's very hard to get a conservative person to repeat some talking point he doesn't actually believe at all. What? They won't just. No! No. 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 Not allowed. Okay. CCP style free speech restrictions now. Go to jail. Skip go. Do not collect $200. Jail for you. Okay? Chinese communism now. You're going to fucking jail. For, this is not just an erroneous mistake. This is like the most, the grossest lie that this professional propagandist liar has ever said. The notion that the Republicans are bad at repeating talking points is insane. There is an entire media ecosystem that doesn't even fucking exist in the same way on the left, nor even on the liberal side, that carbon copies American Enterprise Institute talking points or Heritage Foundation talking points or the Manhattan Institute talking points all the way from Tucker Carlson's own production team down to Ben Shapiro and Steven fucking Crowder and their entire fandoms. If anything, Republicans are the best at not fully comprehending what's going on, getting mad at whatever the fuck they see on TV, and then repeating those talking points verbatim without putting much thought into it. That is why I have said time and time again that it is hilarious uh, to, to debate random chatters in the chat because... Whatever the fuck you're debating in the chat from a random chatter who uh, LARPs as a conservative or is a conservative, okay? That take is identical to the intellectual giant that is Ben Shapiro, and that take is identical to the institutional Republican Party propaganda machine, Fox News. I cannot believe 
that Tucker Carlson is discounting the multi-hundred million dollar industry of think tanks and the multi-billion dollar Republican media ecosystem when there is so much evidence to point in the exact opposite direction of what he is saying. I cannot comprehend how he could lie like this to stop crying. Brother, the last time I cried was after your mother gave me the gorilla grip, okay? Pussy was so good, it had me fucking bawling my eyes out, dude. Oh, my Lord, holy moly, dude. But I guess it was easy. I clipped through Jubei yesterday and got an AI, AEI talking point about unions. Anyway. In a lot of instances, you talk to one conservative, you talk to all conservatives. They're very good at chirping. The same exact talking points over and over again. Okay? They love that shit. Absolutely love it. They have a major media ecosystem surrounding this process. And it is kind of shitty of Tucker Carlson to just like discount the deliberate efforts from think tanks and focus groups that uh, make this message um, perfectly crafted for these dumbasses to consume. Just sit around and wait for whatever the new lie of the day is and then just repeat it with dead eyes on television. Liberals have no problem doing that because they know that's the path to power. But they're right. It is the path to power. Organizing is the path to power. So if I were trying to figure out what to do in Michigan, I'd go right to the problem, which is your teachers union. It's really simple. And... Okay, that's pretty funny. Because he followed that up. He followed what he said with a common right-wing talking point. A common inflection point on the right that many people have been geared to feel angry towards. Like, he literally just said, the left loves being dead-eyed and repeating talking points, but you can't do that for the right. If I was to organize, I'd immediately go after the teachers union in Michigan. It's like, what? What are you saying? How? It's hard for conservatives to do that because they're very easily intimidated by moral aggression. You see this in the gun debate time after time. So if someone comes to you and says, um, we're going to hike up the crime. Conservatives also. Wow. Okay, I realize he's doing a bit. He's doing a bit where he's just saying the exact opposite of what's going on. And he's describing values to conservatives that are normally uh, liberals, libtards, um, that, that engage in it. Now, what do I mean by this? He said conservatives are afraid of being moralized. Brother, dudes that are in your orbit, like the Babylon Bee people, have literally been talking openly about how sick it is that like 13-year-old rape victims have to carry pregnancies to term forcibly. No one who has ever been afraid of the morality police would dare say such a psychotic thing publicly. What the fuck is going on? Right to a point where you have a non-zero chance of getting murdered, but we're going to take away means of defending yourself? You'd be like, no, I don't think so. But that's not what they do. They say, guns are bad! Guns kill people! It's gun violence! Yeah, gun violence, okay. I, 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 I live in a Fake. town with 100% gun ownership, and there's no violence. It's also 100% chainsaw ownership. I live in a town with 100% gun ownership, no gun violence is such a cap 
uh, bullshit excuse. There is no fucking shot. Okay? There ain't no fucking shot. I've shown you this so many times. You want to know what the most violent states are in the nation for gun violence? It's not fucking Illinois, which features Chicago, as a matter of fact. It's not California, which has Los Angeles and the crime-ridden dystopia of San Francisco. It's not New York, which has New York City. It's red states, motherfucker. It's red states. It's Mississippi. It's Alabama. It's fucking Texas. It's Oklahoma. New Mexico. Oh, so the black states law. Famously, no black people live in blue cities. How? No, no, no. Wait, hold on. Explain to me something real quick. Just memeing, of course, says Vladimir King. Well, hold on. While you're memeing, let me ask you a real quick, quick question. What, is, what, what do Republicans mean when they say urban environment? I gave you Chicago as, as an example with Illinois. I gave you Los Angeles, California as an example. I give you New York City. These are urban environments. They are uh, blue safe havens. Okay. So what's up? Blue states and blue cities have lower rates of gun violence, especially when they have higher uh, gun control and gun safety measures, okay, than their red counterparts that are desperately trying to eliminate any kind of fucking gun safety that exists. And there are very few chainsaw-related crimes in my county. No, the object isn't committing the crime, a person is. But they'll get right in your face and say guns are the problem, and if you care about children, people who have no children will lecture you, who have many children, about the children. And rather than saying, um, I'm sorry, how many kids do you have, you barren freak? Get out of my face. No. Oh, the children. Well, I love children. I've got four of them. I, I want to help the children. There's nothing funnier to me than this fucking Nantucket piece of shit whose dad worked for the fucking CIA, whose entire production team is like a bunch of groiper losers, like groiper, neck-bearded, basement-dwelling fucking losers. Talking about like how, how conservatives love fucking and having children. It's like, bro, your entire audience is either unironically barren because they're 85 years old and their dicks and pussies don't fucking work, or they're like 14-year-old losers who believe that they were fucking Vikings and will never fuck, okay? They will never fuck for the rest of their lives and will most likely go out in a fucking shooting spree. So get the fuck out of here talking about like, ah, liptards don't want to have children. It's like, shut the fuck up. It's like, you are speaking in bad faith. You want to control me. Leave. Don't be intimidated. And so on the question of organizing, if people who are against... Whether, so and I don't even know what conservative means anymore, but if you're against what we're doing now, a system that... Does Leave a conversation where you're triggered. Okay, got it. Very, very liberal of Tucker Carlson. Like, don't, head, don't, don't meet the problem head on. No matter what you do, just leave. If your feelings are hurt, leave. It's not serve people that only hurts them, that makes them weaker, unhealthier, less reasonable, more dependent on the people in charge. That's the program. If you're against that, you need to work. This was awesome. That's great. 